Hey YouTube! Well, I'm back again. Video 2 of uh, the videos uh, for my Mac Pro. So today, just, just now actually, I checked the mail and I received my Airport Extreme card. <laughs> I'm very surprised actually. Everything you see on the internet and everything makes this card look a little bit bigger. Uh, however, I did not actually research it too much, but uh, it's very small. Anyway, this video is going to be on me installing this. This is the Airport Extreme uh, Wireless N for the Mac Pro uh, from Apple. It is, it is an Apple genuine part. And I am going to install this in my 2009 Mac Pro. I have not actually found a video of anyone installing it on the 2009, so this should be fun. And at the same time, please bear with me as this will be my first time attempting to do this too. Uh, and apparently there are a lot of little parts inside and connecting the antennas uh, will not be very fun. Anyway, let's get started. Alright, so here we are with the Mac Pro laying on its side and the latch open. Um, on the 2008 down to the 2006 Mac Pro, the way Apple did it was the airport card was actually installed up here just below your first and second hard drives. Uh, the 2009 edition, for some reason, they changed that uh, with this new tray design to be installed down below. Now, what you got to do is obviously take the side off, and then you got to pop out your CPU tray, which is easy to do, but at the same time, be very delicate with it when it's laying on its side like this. You do not want to drop this. These are very expensive to replace, and place that on a solid surface. Uh, probably one with an anti-static blanket or something would be a good idea. But anyway, now let's look and see what we have inside. So right down here is where we'll be installing the airport card. It's actually labeled, it does say airport, and you got to plug the antenna into the card after you plug it in. But right here you put the chip into this little slot and plug in. There are three antennas, only two of them go to the... Uh, card itself. From what I understand it's card number or cable number one and number three that actually plugs into the airport card. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I'll put them on and uh, we will see hopefully it'll work when I boot up the computer. So what you do is you gotta make sure your antennas are out of the way and I'm sorry if my hands in the way for this but it is kind of a pain. And then you simply put your card down and plug it in to the slot. When I ordered this, it said it would come with detailed instructions, but it was for the 2008 edition uh, Mac Pro, so those are useless to me in installing this card. I can see why Apple branded this as a non-user installation part. I really can't see exactly where it plugs in if it plugs right in just on the top, which part of me says yes, and another part of me says, oh, yeah, that's where it goes. So what you got to do now it sticks up. It's kind of like RAM in a laptop. Again, you got to make sure your antenna cables are up on top. This is probably not the best way to do this. I might need to get a pair of tweezers, which is also not usually smart when dealing with computers. There, got that out and on top. And then you put that in. And as long as your screw holes line up, you're good. So in here, you gotta put in your two mounting screws. I'm just gonna pause the video, and while I, after I put in my screws, I will be back to show you how to plug in the antenna cables. All right, so that's what your card should look like when it's installed. Flat, flush, simple, and uh, in there. <laughs> Did I ever have a bitch of a time trying to get those screws in? 
I almost lost one inside my case, which again would not be very fun. Anyway, so now you gotta get your antenna cables connected. One says actually J1, and the other one does say, say J3, I believe. I don't know if it's a guessing game to figure out which one's which, but you just pull the little protective thing off your antenna, lose it in behind, oh, there it is, and then you take your antenna, you line it up properly, and these are also extremely small. I'm trying to line it up with the hole on the card. So you need number one and three, take the little protectors off. And you gotta line it up. I have worked on so many PCs. I can see why PC makers usually go with PCI wireless adapters for their systems instead of built in stupid chips like this. Holy Jesus. Anyway, you're going to have to play with this probably for a while. I'm going to pause the video and come back because I think you get the gist of it and I will show you what it looks like when I get my cables connected alright so we're back card installed in the Mac Pro and now I'm gonna do a first boot and wait to see if it pops up uh, as a detected airport card if not then we have some problems I guess the first thing would actually just to be to hope for a bong Oh, my speaker was turned all the way down, so you didn't probably hear that, but there was a bong, which is good. The reason why that takes so for long on the initial boot up is because all four hard drives have to spin up, or at least the first three, uh, because my Mac is in a RAID configuration. So my next update will probably be the RAM, and I did order actually a Seagate 7200 RPM, one terabyte, SSHD, which is a um, solid state drive and a hard drive kind of put together. It has 8 gigs of flash storage for cache, and I'm going to use that as my boot drive, get rid of one of the 500s, and maybe raid the other two 500s together for a time machine backup or just uh, general storage for large files on my computer. Anyway, this does not look good. It still says there is no airport. Oh, it says Wi-Fi not configured. We might be good to go. We are going to see what happens. It is connecting. And it says I'm connected to my network and we will see. I am. There we go. That was a successful installation of the Apple Airport Extreme Wireless and Network Card. Thanks for watching and tune in again and I will have further upgrades to my Mac Pro.